So once you've collected all of your components and you've identified all the pins and the symbols, the next step is to go to your circuit schematic and label all nodes in the schematic. Sometimes they're also called nets. So what is a node or what is a net? I will go ahead and explain that. So basically, the definition of a node is an uninterrupted segment of wire of any shape. Now you're probably like, okay, what does that mean for it to be uninterrupted? Let me give you an example. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and identify one of the nodes of this circuit here. And the trick to doing this is what I want you to do is get out a pencil or a highlighter probably will, will work best and get out your circuit schematic on a, on a piece of paper and go ahead and take your highlighter and start highlighting one of the wires. It can be any one, it doesn't matter. Just pick anywhere and start highlighting. And you just keep on highlight, highlighting, just keep on doing that, and keep on going, keep on going. The rule is, though, as you are highlighting, the rule is that you have to, you cannot cross any components. So I'm going to keep on highlighting, but then I'm going to stop here, and I'm not going to go past here because there's a switch there, um, because then it would be interrupted. Um, so remember, the definition of node is an uninterrupted segment of wire. So then you just keep on going, keep on highlighting, keep on highlighting the whole wire. And um, we'll keep on highlighting here, keep on highlighting, and then stop. And we have to stop because we hit a resistor there now. And we can't, it can't be interrupted. One thing I'll mention too is you'll notice these two wires here are crisscrossed. Well, notice that though that there's not a dot. There isn't a dot here. So actually, let me erase that real quick. There isn't a dot here. And that means that these wires are just crossing over, but they're not actually connected. You need a dot like over here to indicate that it's connected. So that means when we're highlighting this wire, we actually can't go over here because these wires actually aren't connected. So continue to finish the highlighting here. So here we've highlighted this. And again, we can't go this direction because these are disconnected. There's no dot there. If there was a dot at the intersection, then we would continue highlighting. But uh, continue highlighting this whole wire until again, you hit a component and then you have to stop, you can't cross it. It's Remember a node is an uninterrupted segment of wire. So here's your segment. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a weird shape, you know, this, um, this whole highlighted red piece, but that whole thing is one node, okay? So that's one node. Then what you do, and you can go ahead and label that, uh, label that as like node one. Then what you do is you pick another wire, start picking another wire, and it would probably help to select like a, a different, different color. So I'll go ahead and select yellow here, and I'll just pick this wire, and then you keep on highlighting, keep on highlighting, and again, same rules, you highlight the whole wire until you hit one of the components, you can't go any farther. And you keep on highlighting, hit another component. That is another node. So we could call that like node, node two. Basically, you wanna do the whole circuit until you have the entire circuit, all the wires of the circuit colored in different colors. And each one is a different node and you can label that. So when you go through that whole process, it'll look like something like this. So I've got, I've got node, node one there, node, I, I called that node three actually um, when I did this, um, this part of it. But basically you can see all the wires are highlighted and they all have a label, a specific name that you call the node. So once you do that, that's gonna help you, I think when you start to actually wire the circuit as we'll see in uh, the next, Step. Now that you have identified all the nodes or nets of your circuit, the next step is for you to 
list all the nodes that each component is connected to. So for example, so now that you've highlighted all this, go ahead and, and write down, actually, let me switch to a pen here. Okay, write down the specific component, each component, so like the Arduino Nano, and go ahead and write down which pins of the Arduino Nano are connected to which nodes. So for example, the five volt pin here, five volt pin there, is connected, you can see, to node one. You can also see here the ground pin here, G and D there, is connected to node three, node three there. So basically what you wanna do is go through each component and just list what each node is connected to. And trust me, this will make it a lot easier when you go to actually make all your connections on a breadboard.